What's good, YouTube? So, today's the first day of fall. I don't know when I'm gonna get out this video, but by stating it is that it is the first day of fall, I think it'll force me to get this video out within a certain amount of days. I'll put it right here. Hopefully it's not too long. Um, it's a very nice, bright and sunny day. You can see a little bit you know, right here com coming from the uh, side of my uh, car and California um, in the Bay Area. Very, very good weather. I'm very, uh, very uh, grateful for having that beautiful weather. I don't know how you guys and gals can take the crazy heat in the summer, whether you're in Arizona or Texas, where my predominantly my extended family is at, or my immediate family, excuse me, or the East Coast on the winters where it gets brutal. But um, speaking of uh, weather, one thing that uh, I'm not, I try not to worry too much about it, but being that I, uh, I am prone to getting a little bit down, a little bit depressed at times, going through the whole midlife uh, crap, uh, my compulsiveness, my anxiety, uh, I, I, I do think about the weather and because it is now fall and then fall will turn to winter how my my mind is going to respond to the weather change and and what exactly do i mean by that well i haven't looked too much into it but there is such a thing as seasonal depression or i don't know the exact term um i'm not psyching myself out uh because that's negative thoughts is not conducive to getting better but I do know that even in the past when I was feeling pretty good, it's really hard to get up early morning. I mean, I, I typically wake up around you know 5.50 in the morning and when it's really dark and it's really cold, it doesn't get that cold here, but it, in the winter it will get a little bit cold. It's very hard to get up. It's very natural to wanna stay in your cozy bed all snuggled up in your pillows and your blankets and whatnot. Especially, and then if it's raining, it's even worse. You can hear that that rain outside, and that's a beautiful sound. But it's not beautiful when you have to get up and get outside and get all drenched and and the whole nine yards. And this is kind of just depressing, right? That's one thing. Um, despite how California is, has been ran, um, the, the weather is uh, exceptional here where I'm at. Because that there are days when I, I I was feeling really down, and the weather was beautiful, and I thought to myself. If I'm feeling this down right now and it's 70 degrees outside, nice and sunny, and the birds are chirping, what's going to happen when I'm feeling like this and it's constantly raining and we've had rain for a, we haven't seen sunlight in, in a week or two. That happened in California a couple years ago where, I mean, I'm sure people in Seattle are just like, yeah, whatever. But here, I remember there was a stretch of like two weeks where we didn't get any sun at all and it, it was really getting to me. It's really good to me because getting some like too much sun is not good for you but getting that natural sunlight does enhance your mood along with some other benefits just make sure you use proper sunscreen and don't stay in the sun don't stay out in the sun too much um so yeah i, I don't not sure what the point of this video is um i'm just gonna not psych myself out i'm just gonna continue to be uh continue to do positive things uh, try to read books exercise the whole nine yards keep a routine going and regardless of what uh, the weather is like hopefully it doesn't put a, a dent too much in my mental health and my psyche let me know if you made it this far in this video from you guys and gals if the crappy weather affects your mental health and uh, let me know and talk to you later bye